Hi, Taliette Chanson. All the planets have aligned, and what we have here is yes, every single mobile CPU, the best mobile CPUs on the planet, and we're going to compare it to the iPad Pro and see which is the best silicon in the world. Now, we're talking ultra portable here, and not just you know, laptops and the iPad, Snapdragon 888, the A14 from Apple, M1, M1. The latest Ryzen mobile part. This is the 5800U. Yes, the U part. So it's not the H part. Of course, we're not going to use H parts in this because this is like for devices under three pounds. And of course, here we have Intel's 11th generation. This is the 1185G7. So the best sort of mobile processor they have. So the best from AMD, the best from Apple, the best from Qualcomm, Snapdragon 888. Which one's faster? Well, let's find out. So here we have the Snapdragon 888 in a Zenfone 8. Yeah, nah, have a look at that. 1130. Next slowest one is actually the AMD. Now this is limited to 15 watts. I don't know why it's limited to 15 watts. I put it in its highest performance mode. This is on battery and it'll only do 15 watts. Now this is the first time I've had a 5900U. I don't know if that's typical. They're all 15 watts, but this one is. So anyway, 1363. So the actual iPhone is faster than that, which is 1,598 single core. We get the Intel here, the Intel 1185G7, and that's 1,535. Now this is on battery. This actually can perform better on power. This is the only one that performs better on power. All these tests are done on battery. These are mobile devices, but this one can perform better on power. But 1,535 is its single core. Now if we go to the M1 Mac, pretty much the same score as the iPad. So 1,716, 1,742. Now Geekbench, pfft, I don't believe in Geekbench because it is optimized for iOS devices. Not only that, Mac OS, it actually uses hardware acceleration and stuff like that. But it's the only sort of cross-platform thing I can use. Make sure you sub up because I will compare this 5,900U to all these other laptops here. Latest Intel, I'll compare it to this and the M1 of course. Now when it comes to multi-core, the slowest of course is the Snapdragon 888 3717. The next slowest would be actually, yes, the um, iPhone, which is 4326. Now the Intel 1185G7 is pretty much the same as this AMD 5900U, so very interesting. Now, again, limited to 15 watts. This actually has eight cores. If you could use more power, this would be even better, right? But unplugged in this 15 watt state, that's the score. And this Intel can actually match it with four cores, but it uses much more power. But of course, when you plug this Intel in, you can get more power. A good thing about the Intel is the Thunderbolt, you can actually use eGPU, so yeah. But again, when it comes to multi-core, according to Geekbench at least, you can see 7,273 versus 7,620. These M1s are the fastest on Geekbench, but remember that is Geekbench. Now we'll just do an OpenCL test to test the GPUs. All right, so now let's talk about the GPU. You cannot do OpenCL with the iPad Pro and the iPhone, okay? So they're the metal scores, 20,583 and 9,513. They're metal, they're not OpenCL. But all the rest are OpenCL, okay? So this is GPU test. And here we have 4,708 on the Snapdragon. We have 8,639 with the ASUS, with the AMD graphics. So that's Radeon graphics. And that's the 5,800U. So that's not that powerful when you compare it to, say, for example, XE graphics on the Intel here, which gets a score of 18,110 versus that, you know, 8,000. 8, so, but then the Mac comes in faster again, 19,257. So... Yeah, that's sort of what I'd expect there. So it's OpenCL benchmark, so that's pretty much fair for them all. That display, night and day difference, that is much better, that display. And even compared to OLED over here, I mean, this, this display is much better, but OLED still has a, I don't know, some something about the pop of the OLED that, yeah, it looks more artificial, I guess. This one looks more color natural, or natural color. But anyway... There you go, the world's first mobile CPU shootout. Why is this doing a test? I don't know. But stay tuned for my 5800U versus M1 versus 11A5G7 and yeah, iPad, we'll chuck that in. Catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.